plaintiff, Deborah Gustafson, says in 1989, she cheated on her husband with the defendant and ended up getting pregnant. Deborah claims the defendant was a good father to their son, Brandon, but she's suing because after Brandon committed suicide, the defendant agreed to pay for half of the funeral expenses and failed to do so. Defendant David Hare says when he got together with Deborah, she was not only married, but she also had another boyfriend on the side. David claims as a result, he had doubts about being Brandon's biological father, and Deborah refused to take a paternity test. Therefore, he refuses to pay. Start with you. Um, I met David in 1989. I was married, um, did have an affair, and became pregnant with our son Brandon. Gave birth to Brandon in April of 1990. Um, David never denied Brandon being okay. Brandon's father. David was a good okay. dad when, you know, I think David had his own issues at, when Brandon was a baby. Yeah. But when he started coming around, he was a good dad. Good. Good. Um, he took him on vacations. He spent good. great time with him. All right. And why don't you give me some background? Okay. Well, first of all, I just want to say, you know, how sorry I am about Brandon's death. You know, mm -hmm. I loved him. Yeah. Um, Deb and I, like she said, we, I'm, met when I was in my very early 20s. Uh, she was married, plus she was seeing another guy on top of that when we first met. How do you know? Yes, she was. How do you know? No. How do I know? Because yes. she told me. Okay. And because uh, after is that we- true? No, after, it is not true. Yes, she was. Go ahead. And after we hooked up, she took a weekend to go and, and call it off with this guy or whatever. Um, we got together a couple different times and then she came back and told me she was pregnant. Well, from what I can remember, we hooked up August of 89. Well, eight months later, Brandon was born in April of 90. To me, that doesn't add up. Well, of course, yep. there's some question. Yes, mm -hmm. I would be, I would question it also. But, you know, I was young, I was naive, I didn't and really care. Naive, that's a good question you know? to contemplate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you don't it have is. to be naive. She's living with her husband and she becomes pregnant and, You've been with her a couple of times, and you say even if she didn't have another guy, there's some issues there. Let's get to the funeral expenses you're suing him for. Okay. Um, when Brandon died, August How 5th. How did he die? I'm... Brandon committed suicide. Mm, God bless you. Sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear that. When? August 5th, 2011. Okay. Plaintiff Deborah Gustafson is suing her deceased son's father, who claims he always had doubts about fathering the child. But Deborah refused to take a paternity test. Go ahead and resume. Um, neither me nor David had any money, like not money to a funeral for your child. And uh, so my dad, offered to pay for, you know, borrow us the money. And I talked to David, I, you know, um, him and Patty came over. We went through pictures, we went through memories, getting everything ready for the memorial. I had talked to David and we agreed to split the funeral costs in half. And I said, you know, even if it's $100 a month, and he agreed to $100 a month, just not a set day of the month, um, to pay my dad back. I paid ours, my half back, um, and David had made two payments. One was in- To your dad? To my dad. One was in October of 2011, and I don't have a check for that one, a canceled check, but I know the payment was made. And his second one wasn't made until June of 2012. And I have a um, letter from my father and a canceled check for the one for in June. I'll see it, but the problem you have here, ma'am, is that you, you you don't have the standing to sue. He he borrowed the money from your dad, and your but, dad has to sue him. No, I paid all of it. There's a letter in there from my father. It's notarized. Deborah paid the entire loan off. Okay, all right. So you're going by the agreement that he made with you to pay uh, half. All right, let me uh, hear from you, sir. Um, yeah, when Brandon passed away, she did ask me if I could, you know, help out. And I told her, you know, I 
Yeah, I live paycheck to paycheck, like a lot of people do. You know, money's tight, and uh, I could, you know, I'll do what I can do. You know, and I did make two. How often had you been in touch with the child around that time, around uh, 2011? Um, well, I mean, Brandon was out on his own. I mean, he had a couple of babies of his own and stuff. I mean, truthfully, he would come by when he needed, you know, to a couple of How often would or, you see him? Uh, I'd say probably once every couple months, he would stop by my work. So you said that it was difficult for you to afford anything. However, did you agree to pay? I, I, I told her, I, you know, I could, you know, I'd help her out the best I can. You know, I'd give her what I could when I could and, you know, and, but I just, I mean, there was never no proof that Brandon was m my son. Ma'am, did he ever question it? He never questioned Brandon, no. He did ask me about child support, but he never questioned the paternity of Brandon. I asked you if uh, we could do a blood test and child support, and you did said he? you didn't want to no, rock the boat. No, he did not. He never asked you to do no. a blood test? No, he asked me about child support. He didn't um, say he wasn't Brandon's father when he was in the obituary, when he was involved in the memorial. All right, I'm really sorry about your son. God bless you. Did you go to grief counseling or something? Or um, No, I am very involved in the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. Oh, good. Unfortunately, ma'am, when he says he's going to pay something and it's not a contract, a contract is you're going to have an exchange. It's called consideration. Give something, you get something back. Mm -hmm. That's a contract. What you have here is the promise of a gift. And you promised what exactly? To, to Deb. I just, I, I Regarding the funeral expense. I told her I'd, you know, help pay the funeral cost the best I could. And you had nothing in mind? I mean, usually a person says, well, Well, I she think said that we would split it, and she told me it was $7,000. Okay, and what was your response to and that? And she said that, we, you know, if I could pay thirty five, she would pay 3500 And what was your response? And I said, I'll do the best I can. I said, money's tight. I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I'll give you what I can. And like she said, I did give her $200. Plaintiff Deborah Gustafson is suing her deceased son's father, who claims he always had doubts about fathering the child. But Deborah refused to take a paternity test. There's only one other legal theory when a person makes a promise, and that is a theory called promissory estoppel, meaning someone relies on the promise to their detriment. It's like when you, and folks need to be aware of this, when you pledge to a charity, I'm going to donate $1,000, trying to be big. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they say, oh, for a scholarship. Okay, so the college tells the kid he has a scholarship. College puts up the money for the kid. Then Mr. Big, well, I don't really have it. <laughs> no, no, no. We've given out $1,000 to our detriment based on your promise. So I think this is a situation where that fits, sir. She and her dad contributed and probably determined how much the funeral would be based on your promise to help. Now... I'm not going to grant the 2900 that you're asking for, ma'am, because I do believe he may have said, I'll do what I can. I will require you to pay something, sir, because you caused her to rely on um, your promise to her detriment, meaning it cost her money to rely on what you said. So I'm going to grant you $1,500, ma'am. Have Thank a good you. day. I have absolutely nothing to say to him. No, I think there's, I don't either. No. He has grandchildren that he could be seeing, but they're apparently not his. No, you never proved it. I've asked you to. That's okay. Yeah.